Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we're going to be going over that big severe weather event that we could see unfold across the United States going into next week along with the potential for a winter storm right behind that that could bring some snow to some areas. I'll give you the latest breakdown on timing, the details, everything that you need to know will be in this forecast. Let's first begin though with the pattern change that we're going to be having this upcoming weekend. Obviously for a lot of you you've seen some cold weather that is going to be begin to kind of move out we have a trough back up in Canada that is finally moving out of our area this is the one that brought the winter storm and a lot of severe weather to the southern plains it is finally moving out though it has been here for a week now it is finally moving though again that will bring warmer weather behind it it'll become more mild warmer across a large portion of the United States Florida is still going to remain somewhere around or just below average but other than that that's the only exception we'll see much warmer weather we could get in the 70s potentially in the Midwest so it's definitely gonna be a much warmer or week or weekend overall but going into early next week we'll have a trough begin to build over portions of the central plains this is what could bring severe weather a winter storm it could bring a lot in terms of weather going into this upcoming week it'll also bring cooler weather uh, for those that are especially in the western plains and through potentially the great plains as well we could see some cooler weather the big concerning feature with this though is that we'll have warmer weather coming out of the south we could also have some gulf moisture start to mix in that could create some havoc in terms of maybe a few severe storms which one or two of them could produce a tornado threat we already have a slight risk of severe weather heading into sunday which is primarily gonna be a night threat that'll be for western and central iowa southern minnesota northern kansas and eastern nebraska so this will be an event to watch for pretty closely because we may see this transition to monday and tuesday as well going into the upcoming week more on that here in just a moment let's talk about what we're talking about in terms of precipitation we won't see a whole lot across the eastern side of the united states unless you're back up in new england you may see some rain potentially going to early next week our trough begins to really strengthen going into Sunday night. That's when we'll begin to see some storms fire up. Again, severe weather definitely going to be possible with those storms. I don't expect a full-blown severe weather outbreak, and I'll tell you why here in just a second. But behind that, we have a lot of snow, and that is going to be very prominent across Wyoming, Montana, and as well as Colorado. But eventually heading into Monday morning and potentially into the day Monday, we could see snow actually go as far east as areas like North Dakota, South Dakota, and Nebraska. More on that again here in just a second. We'll have severe storms on go across areas areas like Iowa and potentially Missouri eventually heading into Monday afternoon we may have a second day of severe weather which could actually be more of a line of storms that could extend from potentially the Midwest back down through Oklahoma or Texas so we'll have to watch that kind of closely and eventually heading into Tuesday and Wednesday that will eventually clear out now what is my confidence in terms of severe weather heading into late Sunday into Monday morning for well, right now I have a high confidence that we'll at least see some scattered severe weather meaning a slight risk or greater across that area from eastern Nebraska back through southern Minnesota we also have an area that I have about a medium confidence of that goes from about southern Kansas and southeast Kansas back through Minnesota and then we have low to very low confidence that extends as far south as areas like northeast Texas but overall the main area I would say for severe weather for late Sunday into Monday will for sure probably be across areas in the western Midwest and as well as through the central plains that seems like our greatest potential as of now I said earlier in my forecast that I don't think this will be a full-blown severe weather outbreak I want to give you some insight into why because there is a lot of hype around this severe weather event and we're still four to five days out from it actually occurring but currently the dew points that are being forecasted which this could change are going to be in the upper 50s and low 60s across that severe weather area which again goes from about iowa and as well southern minnesota back through about northeastern kansas right along that leading edge of that cold front now overall could we very well see a potential for a severe weather outbreak it's possible but the dew points are not supportive enough for a lot of buoyancy which is something that we really need for severe weather in terms of the low level jet which is giving us an idea of the low level rotation with these storms now the current forecast from the european model is that we'll have probably somewhere around 40 to 55 knots in terms of the low level jet which is actually a pretty moderate value that is definitely enough to produce a few tornadoes the only thing is again that moisture content we don't have a whole lot of it as of now so with the current setup if it stays true we'll probably only see scattered severe weather and most likely the main threat will be damaging winds with maybe an isolated tornado threat and maybe a couple of storms with some large hail so again there's a lot of hype around this system just be mindful of that because again things will change as we get closer but it seems like for right now it's going to probably at least be on the low end of a severe weather event for now all right heading into wednesday of next week we'll have a system coming out of the pacific ocean actually this will be from the current tropical storm that we have ongoing this may bring some of the remnants and it could bring some rain and maybe even a little bit of severe weather to the southern united states so just a little thing to be mindful of if you're close
closer to the Gulf Coast. But talking about that winter storm, there may be a winter storm heading into maybe Sunday and Monday. It will actually begin this weekend across areas like the Northwest United States, but it could go into areas like North Dakota, South Dakota, maybe even Nebraska, heading into maybe Monday morning. So you might be wanting to watch this closely. Depending on how cold it gets on the west side of this, we could even see snow go as far east as areas like eastern North Dakota, could even go into Minnesota. I don't think it'll get into Iowa, but the current forecast, at least from the European model in terms of snowfall totals, again, just take it with a grain of salt. We're still pretty far out, but we may see some snow. This is a general picture of what you might be able to notice across areas in the uh, basically western Great Plains back up in western North Dakota and South Dakota back into Montana. Now, I do like to end off our forecast with some good news, and this is some pretty good news. We're talking about rain across a large portion of the United States from the southern plains all the way back through the northern plains into the Midwest into the Northeast. So it looks like most of the United States will at least see some sort of rain, it looks like, for the next seven days. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contract.